Hey guys, Shane with the uh, Vani Podcast and Lifting Your Tech Applications here. Just uh, wanted to do a uh, my own Vani Resistance Report today. I think I'm going to do uh, more regular, do these uh, more regularly. Uh, you know, I guess Vani Resistance Reports from the Homestead. So uh, the most recent update, and uh, Christ, I mean, <clears throat> chaos, pure chaos. But anyway, uh, yesterday I uh, went to pick up four goats, uh, four baby goats. Um, and all of Sunday, I guess uh, most of the day on Sunday, uh, me and my dad uh, put up an electric fence. Uh, I'll put, I'll roll some footage here. Well, I guess I should say uh, me, my dad, uh, Henza, and uh, Jeremy. But uh, yeah, got some goats uh, in the meantime until I can find some uh, some lambers, some sheep, uh, some lambers, some sheep. Uh, that was my uh, my preference initially, and uh, but goats for now, goats for now. Uh, and the good thing is uh, one of them is a uh, female, so uh, at some point I could uh, I could have some uh, some goat dairy. I've been eating a lot of uh, goat cheese, so I am uh, very very excited for that. But anyway, so I picked up four goats last night, uh, brought them home, and uh, me and my dad finished uh, you know the last uh, the last. Thing or two on the uh, on the on the chicken coop, which half of that's going to be des- is, is now designated for you know home for the goats. But uh, we we put it, we put together you know the, the final finishing touches, and uh, it is about 8 p.m. It was, uh, it was pitch black, it was dark. It had gotten dark, and uh, somehow uh, the goats got free, and uh, we hadn't turned on the electric fence yet. We hadn't gotten there yet. We were just going to put them put them in the fence and deal with you know work on it work on it today. Well, they got out, and uh, I had my uh, dog outside with me, Naomi. And one thing about Naomi, she's a she's a husky lab mix. Uh, one thing about her is she has a habit of killing things um, regularly. Um, I think uh, it's probably one or once or twice a week um, she'll have killed a raccoon or a possum or a squirrel or s- s- whatever the hell it is, right? Um, a, a, a nest of bunnies, um, a nest of baby raccoons. I mean, she's 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 done it all. So, yeah, she uh, obviously got in hot pursuit of these uh, these goats, and uh, unfortunately, she killed one. Uh, she killed one. I was able to uh, to apprehend uh, the mother, the uh, the the, the uh, baby mother. Or I guess not the baby mother, but the baby female. And uh, my uh, dad got another one, and uh, I guess there was one, or uh, <clears throat> rather, my dad uh, got one, but it was uh, one that my dog had mauled. Um, gotten, yeah, she's, she's, she, you'd think, she, like, she looks sweet, but she's a killer. Um, she's a, she's a, she's a killer. So, yeah, she killed one of the goats. One of them got away. I don't know where it is. And uh, I guess, uh, so there's one that did, so, so I'm down to two. I bought four last night within four hours, down to two. Uh, and it's because, in part, <clears throat> and it's it's going to be difficult. We'll have to see how this. Uh, let's see, have to make some adjustments. But Naomi cannot be out at the same time as as the livestock, so it's going to be interesting how uh, how all this plays out. Uh, and I, I don't know. We'll we'll see. She's 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 better with the chickens. She's a lot better with the chickens and the ducks. She can she can resist herself, uh, at least in large parts. Uh, so maybe there's hope for the goats at some point, but uh, maybe it's just uh, tuned. Yeah, and I guess uh, the last thing I will mention, uh, and I will uh, get some footage to toss in here um, as well. But uh, I'm on a carnivore diet, so I don't eat I don't eat vegetables. Uh, last year I, I I had a, a decent garden. I was I started a decent garden, um, and uh, dec- yeah, decent sized garden, but not doing it this year since I don't, since I don't eat a lot of vegetables. Uh, so I'm just doing uh, you know some some low oxalate um, vegetables. Ones that uh, I don't think are going to bother me. Uh, got uh, some meat and some vegetables. Uh, I guess uh, we'll have some, some, some meat and some vegetables on hand uh, very shortly. And uh, hopefully some, some duck eggs. And for sure some, uh, some fresh uh, high omega-3 uh, chicken eggs. So uh, I think that's all for this, uh, for this uh, Vaughn Resistance Report. Uh, thanks so much for tuning in. VaughnyPodcast.com forward slash resistance if you want to submit yours. Um, obviously, if you want to submit multiple ones, uh, you can. If you want to just do one, uh, one-time shot, tell us about uh, you know uh, your Vaughny lifestyle over the years. Whatever, whatever you want to do. Uh, we just want to see what you're what you're up to, self liberation wise, uh, in hopes of inspiring others to to action, uh, to to the pursuit of freedom, rather than just blind servitude and passivity. So, with that said, 
Hope you guys have a terrific day. It's a beautiful, beautiful day here in Southern Illinois. Uh, it's about, uh, it's, it's in the, uh, in the seventies and the seventies. So I'll be outside with uh, Naomi all afternoon. Uh, going to be, uh, got the day off work to, uh, to, to be here with the goats, the baby goats, so they can adjust and kind of get settled in. So, um, that's what I'll be, uh, be doing this afternoon and I uh, hope you guys are uh, staying safe and staying liberated wherever you are and, uh, whatever you're doing until next time.